This is Kevin Scott, one of the writers of Star Wars The High Republic, and I'm on Team Nerd Herd. And I've forgotten what the phrase is. <laughs> <laughs> Team Nerd Herd Nation, and welcome back to another Team Nerd Herd podcast, a special impromptu to uh, getting us uh, ready for right here, but we're looking at it right right now. Um, our interview with Kevin Scott, um, our what if number 31, man. We've done a lot of uh, what ifs, a lot of interviews, but uh, this one's a special one, man. This is a real special one because um, we are all touting this as uh, the, uh, the young Avengers of uh, Star Wars right here. Um, I talked to my LCS, and my LCS said they actually read it. And he was like, bro, it was so confusing because there were so many first appearances. Wow. I was like, damn. I was like, really? He was like, and he, and uh, me and Nick share the same, same LCS. And our owner, he's a straight Star Wars like fanatic, man. So if he's saying that, man, you better hold your horses, man. Um, but let's, let's get this rope ball going, man. Um, and uh, I'm going to start off uh, right over here with uh, Rope Ball. What's up, man? Not much. How are you guys doing tonight? Merry Christmas to everyone that's watching us live. In the chat, uh, all four of you right now. Uh, yeah, this was a fun one. Uh, you guys are gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna pass it off over to uh, our head presser, uh, Nick. What's up, sir? Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Fire Cell Comics. Uh, yeah, man, Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm excited to uh, share the interview. Um, yeah, let's do this. What's up, uh, Comics and Pox? What's going on, man? Hi, Nick. This is Comics and Pops, a.k.a. Alonzo, over here um, trying to get Christmas Eve dinner all set up. So, again, Merry Christmas to you all. And over to my right, <laughs> Mr. E. What's going on, dude? All right. What's up, everybody? Uh, Azores Tiger here, representing Spine Takes, coming show in love with the Team Never Heard podcast. Uh, they were talking... They said, uh, come, let's talk about Star Wars. I said, all right, I don't have any Star Wars clothes, but I'll bring some some Marvel space stuff. How about that? Some Cosmic Universe. Hey, man. So, uh, I love it. Love it. All about, bro. <laughs> so I'm uh, here to represent the Spine Takes, man. And uh, let me pass it over here to my boy, uh, Hip, Hip Hops and me. So uh, Hip Hop? Hip Hop and other Good evening. Merry Christmas, y'all. Thank you guys very much for viewing. Right. And we are about to get it rolling. I'm going to go ahead and pass it right back up to ian let's go ahead and get in this meat and potatoes and yo man i want to say what's up to the live chat i think uh, we got hot java man that's uh javid i don't want to say what's up to uh sam over there um he's one of the homies on instagram i, I appreciate you guys coming man but let's get into some star wars talk man that's 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 why we're all here right so uh let me see here man so um me oh i messed it up again hold on real quick let me the joys of live TV. Gotta the joys of live TV. You got to love that, man. So we're talking – so, I mean, we're warming you guys up for this uh, interview we had with uh, Kevin Scott, man. It's, it's probably one of the hottest books that came out that are, that are coming out Star Wars-wise in a long time, man. I think wow, it's a uh, yeah. very highly anticipated, man. We got the – I mean, uh, I got to give props to uh, Alonzo, man. He's the one who got him. So I don't know how Alonzo does it. You know, Alonzo just has magic, man. But uh, you want to take us down this uh, rabbit hole, man, uh, and, and warm everybody up for uh, some, some Kevin? Oh, of course. Thank you very much, Ian. So here we go. So all of this gobbledygook right here that you guys are looking at, <laughs> the current Disney in canon timeline of movies and shows that we have. Uh, so this is where it's at. Before we get into High Republic, we want to know, like, we, we want to see, like, how is it going to fit into this particular timeline? Before we get there, 
we're going to go and talk about a couple of uh, announcements that Disney made for some shows. So as you can see in this particular one, we have Rogue Squadron, Bad Batch, The Acolyte, Lando, and Visions. All right, Nerd Herd, where do you guys think these are going to fit? <clears throat> well, Man. I already know Alkali is supposed to be the tail end of of a uh, higher public. That's supposed to be like the down the start of the downfall of the higher public. So, do you think it's going to be before Episode One? Yes, that's going to be the two. one that has the most Kathleen Kennedy influence, right? That's what I've heard. I hope not, because that's the one I'm looking most forward to. I know. I mean, I heard that. I I thought about your heartbreaking. What little have, yeah. Exactly. Um, but I believe, I mean, we don't know too much about it. We do know that it's obviously Sith. I mean, with with Alkalites and stuff. I'm thinking it's probably Revan's Alkalites. Oh. Ooh, that would be oh, awesome. That, that's oh, kind that's, of what I'm thinking. That would be a good Christmas present, yeah, man. We get Revan, man. Damn. I mean, I don't think we're going to get Revan because, mind you, Revan would have been... He's old though. Way before, way before this. Way, right. way before. Right. Yep. But this could be like his alkalites, people like treating Revan as if he's a religion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I can see that being the case with this. So you think there's going to be some uh, flashbacks maybe? We might get some flashbacks. Oh. Um, well, you would put him right in the MCU now, huh? Or the whatever, Star Wars uh, <laughs> universe. <laughs> Disney universe. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> crazy. The SWCU. SWCU. <laughs> mix it all up. Like it. Throw it all up in a bottle and mix it all up. Yo. <laughs> I mean, at least that's that's what I've heard. I've heard there's somebody's alkalites. It makes sense that it would be Revan's alkalites man, uh, man. out of anyone pri prior to. Hey, hold, hold on, man. Hold on, man. There's a knock knock on the door, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Who's this dude? Oh, 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 oh yeah. the Sway. All right, Sway. This is, perfect, this is perfect timing. This is perfect Sway. timing, man. First time you've ever been on live, bro. Like, introduce yourself to the world. Yeah, what's up? I'm Sway. Ho Sway. Whatever, Sway. Uh, I'm on Christmas Street today. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Hold on, I'm my How's it going, man? man so, you Sway. Got that Christmas spirit going on. Like, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. My, man. My man. Is that a 40? <laughs> Is that a 40? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a 32. It's a, it's, and, it's, and it's not a cold 45. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Hello, you know. man. That's it. So, so Sway is one of the founders of uh, the Team Nerd Herd way, way back in, like, whatever, right? Um, he's a guy who... He's the guy who wanted to fight uh, uh, Jr. Um, I think eight years ago or whatever, however long that was ago. He, want, he yeah. wanted to give him the people's elbow. You want to elbow. fight me? <laughs> this is new to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, let's go, man. Let's go. Let's talk about some more uh, Star Wars. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Um, so, what about what about Visions? What do you guys know about Visions? What do you guys I mean, think? I I think Vision is going to be a bunch of shorts, right? Like a bunch of like I imagine. What was that Matrix? The the Animatrix was that what, what it was called? Right. It came out back in the day. I imagine yeah, it being that. Out, but I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, like it was like small stories that took place in the world of the Matrix, and they were done by different artists and different animators. And I imagine that to be this. This going to be super cool. And but I don't imagine too much of it to be canon. You know, like it'll be like I think it'll be kind of outside of the canon. It, it should be canon though if it shows up though, right? I mean, you know. So is is it going to be anime? It's an anime. Yep. Yeah, but, it's going to be animated. Do you think it's going to be around like main characters, or it's going to be like no. a droid has like an adventure randomly and it does yeah, something? I, for I the think Empire. it's going to be like that because they got to do some stuff for the kids. But yeah. don't they have that that uh, that whole little uh, that new series for Star Wars coming out for um in China or something? Is it? Well, I know I don't know about the series, but I know there is one novel that's going to be released in China that is part of the new the new High Republic. Mm -hmm. That is only it's like shining something that mm -hmm. is only being released in China right now. Nice. There's no plans for it to be done in American. Or, or an English language. Okay, cool. Well, let me. Uh, um, I, I want Alonzo to take us over here, man. So, Alonzo, go ahead before you have to bounce, bro. 
All right. Uh, so this is kind of where we know based on Kevin's interview. So you guys got to listen where high Republic is going to take place. So it's going to take place way, way, way in the beginning or the early stages where 200 years, 200 years before episode one, episode they still one. Say. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So this is where the Jedi are at their peak where there are like, there's peace. There's, like adventures there's a whole lot of great stuff happening and this is where the jedi is and this is their high point right here mm -hmm. yeah so what do you guys think about that man 200 years before do you guys think that the jedis are even being challenged and are they just like I go, hey guys i gotta i gotta go gotta get some dinner uh, i want to wish you all a very merry christmas and a happy new year and i will see you guys soon all right, all right man sir. Merry Have Christmas, a good man. one, sir. Right, you too. Enjoy. So what do you think? We think JR, man. Um, 200 years before, uh, are, are they sitting pretty? Are they going to war? Or are they just like the uh, the, I, the, the main I gangsters of the universe? I think they're going to be on the hog. I yeah. think they're going to be kind of just sitting there. And I think that's kind of the thing is that they, at this point, at least from what we know, they pretty much are the police. They get to kind of do whatever needs to be done. Everyone respects them. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens when some Sith get interjected into this timeline. Mm. I mean, aren't, aren't you like describing episode one, two, and three? Like they're being <laughs> sat on the hog, like, you know, like lazy the, and weakening within the force. Like I would love oh, to see one. this just be them just – finding new powers how they discovered new powers and discovered new abilities yeah you know like and discovered like their temples initially you know discovered like you know i feel like i want to see indiana jones meet star wars and i don't know if calvin's going to give us that uh but uh, he, he's a he's a former doctor who guy you know so yeah. mm -hmm. well, we've uh, maybe also we got, get some adventures we've also got charles soleil that's doing it which he was writing vader for a little while there I believe he was writing the current Star Wars, one of the current Star Wars series for a while. Um, so I think both of those guys are going to be doing pretty good. They're both doing the first, Charles is doing the first novel, and then Cavan's doing the follow-up novel. Cool. So it, it's going to be interesting. I, and I, I know what you're saying with episode one, two, and three, but there was already kind of a, some fuckery afoot in episode <laughs> one. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's still uh, going on. Yeah, to so, still yeah. line there. I have but, a like for you guys. Say so was was this the series that um the the directors from Game of Thrones backed out on that they were supposed to do? Uh, I thought they were supposed know. to. Do. I have, I don't even remember what they were supposed to do, man. I mean, I thought it was Old Republic, right? Oh, the Old, well, Republic. old, they, old Republic. They never Way said. Yeah, they never right. said what it was. That was a speculation think, that was Old Republic. That's what I remember. Everyone was speculating it was Old Republic. Uh -huh. But I think also the problem is, is that they, with the way it ended with Game of Thrones and the fact that Kent, Kathleen Kennedy handpicked these guys, mm -hmm. and there's that whole divide of Kennedy, the Kennedy camp, and the, the Favreau camp. Mm -hmm. Right. I think they went, okay, we're just going to stay away from this hotbed mm -hmm. and try something different. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's 200 years before. I mean, it's 200 years before episode one. I think they've. Uh, I think they've. Uh, they thought they've erased the uh, Sith. Um, but you got. I mean, for shit to be good, you got to bring the Sith back in, man. So you know you're gonna get like a uh, a new uh, a new uh, two right versus all these Jedi's. Um, it's well, gonna be it's, it's gonna be wild, man. I would not be shocked People love if it's baby Yoda and be teenage Yoda. Teenage, yeah. <laughs> that would be a trip though. If uh, Yoda was actually when he was, this is actually baby Yoda up in there. I don't know, man. You know, so he, he looks like a kind of a young Yoda there. And in, in, uh, see this one right here, this yeah, uh, right, yeah, that's the young the Yoda, man. To too. Dude, this cover is on fire. It's and it's only All what right. a, a cover B, right? It's on All fire right. right now, like uh, you know, in that in uh, the secondary market. So, all, the, guys, all, the, all the covers are selling out. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. I think it's all sold out already. I think we're on everything's on back order now, man. They're already in second uh, print. Yeah, if you didn't get uh, it, I think that I heard the second print's on back order now, and they're moving oh, to a wow. third print. 
You know, uh, so but yeah, you'll man. be able to get these books. One thing I want to put out there, thousand. though, you could, yeah, you could. I, I don't know if he covered though. <clears throat> the Hans cover, right? Bane rule of two. The Bane rule two for Sith, but there was a time when the Sith didn't respect that rule. Right. That was in the Dark Horse mm-hmm. line, but they could bring that back, where there was a shitload of Sith. Mm-hmm. So we could have a time when we get a war down the road. 50 Sith versus 50 Jedi. That would be wow. sick. Just that would be down. That's be sick. I don't know, man. I mean, it, It'd be like gangs it, in New York. It does fit the Sith, man. I, it does 50 <laughs> Sith, I think they're whipping all the Jedi's ass because the, Je- oh, the Jedi yeah. can't even handle two. They can't even handle two. Yeah. You know, like, how, what are they supposed to do against, like, 50? You know, like, we'll see, man. Yep. Uh, but then we got all, well, we got this too, right? We got the uh, the in the in canon characters, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we, mid screen. And we've talked about this, right? We want we want uh, we want these guys to be on in the uh, Star Wars. What are we, how are we Star Wars Disney Universe? Is that what it's called? Or Star Wars Cinematic uh, Universe now? Whatever yeah. they want to call it. Yeah. Now. I, I'm confused, man. I know Josue's confused. Josue's like, what the fuck are you guys talking about, man? You know. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, but you guys all know I'm rooting for Cad Bane. Who you guys rooting for? Yeah, I want Dr. Dr. Asher. Oh, we Come know on Jackson. Let's go, Jackson, man. Like, let's let's weird it up a little bit. We've seen a bunch of people with like <laughs> tails on their head. Let's give us an an animal, anthropomorphic character. You know, you know. We, we going bunny rabbit, yo. We're going bunny, bunny rabbit. You want man. a bunny rabbit, man? You and you and a cat, Kavan, huh? Or uh. That's yeah. what we nicknamed Kevin, you know. So, um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> I think he's on to something with the bunny rabbit, man. Like the bunny rabbit, look at him. It looks like, uh, you know, it looks like a yeah, adventuring guy. Really when we were kids, man, yeah. like that rabbit was big. Like for us young, I mean, how about you, Jr? You were my age. When that, when I always used to see that rabbit on covers, and I would see him like on, like uh, on on the uh, boxes, toy boxes, and I'm like, where? Where is this rabbit in the in in the movies? Was there like, was one was rabbit, called Bu- Bucky O'Hare, I want, right? I want a little Jackson yeah. in my life, you know. So, I don't know, man. As, How about uh, the only Jackson I knew was Michael Jackson? I know, I know, right? Yeah, I, I knew or Bucky Sammy O'Hare. Al. You know, I know Sammy Al. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but then we got these guys right here, right? These guys from the uh, expanded universe. Um, and which yeah. one do you guys want over here, man? I mean, you. Uh, can we all say, can we all just vote Re- Revan already? <laughs> I want yeah. Mar Jade. Sorry, you want Mar Jade? I'm going oh, yeah. Who would play a yeah, good Mar Jade? Go Revan, Who would play yeah. a good Mar Jane out there, man? Who would play a good Mar Jane? Deborah Gil Gadot. Gil Gadot. What if you brought Gil Gadot up into no. the uh, no. universe? No. Man? no. Come on. Why not? No. Uh, uh, you gotta, you gotta not. get somebody new, man. Deborah Ann Wool. She plays. Karen Page on Daredevil. Hmm. She right. would be a good, good Marjade. Marjade. Come on, she guys. Be. I, I want, you know, um, Star Killer, man. Star Killer would be my number one choice oh, you from bring... the video games. Hmm. So, uh, hey, uh, JR, name them off, man. Name all these guys off from the Expanded Universe. I know you could do it. <laughs> There's a couple of them I can't. Uh, I know that's Kyle something. I don't remember yep. the last what his name is. That's Mar yeah, Jade. Mar Jade. I don't remember what that one is. Sith Wood. Sith Wood. Huh? Yeah, I know. Uh, that <laughs> is the great great grandson of Luke, Cade mm-hmm. Skywalker, the drug addict. Yeah. Wow. Uh, he's, rocking, he's rocking it, bro. Yeah. Um, that's Skeletor, that. right? <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's either Bane or that's supposed to be Darth Wraith mm-hmm. from that universe also. Obviously Revan. Revan and Darth Maul, you know, from yeah. the Old Republic, you know. So these are all awesome characters, man, that we all – I mean, they, they, they have a plethora of, like, characters, right? So uh, um, to, to – uh, oh, Sam goes uh, – how about this one right here for you? Naomi Sunrider. What do you think, JR? <laughs> I could go with Naomi Sunrider. I could go with a little Naomi. I like, I like that Naomi man. So, um, yeah. So uh, there's a there's there's a lot of characters they can pull from, man. And I'd love to see. I love you know. I love me some some Old Republic, man. I mean, we all grew up playing that video game. You know, yeah. what I'm saying so we so we know these characters. Even you know my nephew Eddie, man. He's a 
I think he's 25, man. He played. He used to play that game like crazy too, man. So if you like Old Republic, read uh, Legacy, which is where Cade, Cade Skywalker comes from. Mm -hmm. It's a good yeah. read. We yeah. we can make it happen, man. Good. We have uh, Hayden Hayden Christensen still around, and a guy who played uh, uh, Star Killer still around in the video games. We could have Vader's Apprentice, a Vader TV show. Be awesome. Star the Star Killer games used to be dope. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. They were man. And um, uh, and how about the guy from uh, Shadow of the Empire? Uh, what's his name from the video game? I just posted him today. Uh, what's his name? Cal. No, uh, Dar let me see here. How come I, I can't remember his name real quick? I got it right here. Darth Reggie, uh, probably. No, nah, man, uh, Dash Rendar, man. <laughs> oh, but I was close. I was close. They, they, they need another Han, man. They need another Han. You know, always, uh, you know, Rendar used to always get the, uh, the, the Han Solo knockoff, you know, kind of like, uh, it was a knockoff, but you, but you need a gunslinger, bro. Han Solo's dead, bro. So you need a gunslinger, man. It's, it's a space Western, man. That's what I'm saying. I used yeah. to play that video game like crazy too on N64, but I'm gonna change up. Uh, I'm gonna change gears here, man, because I always like to like uh, drop some drop some uh, education of what I'm I'm trying to learn, and I want to talk about Ahsoka in the uh, Marvel continuity, um, because you know there's always a. I mean, it seems like there's always a new book that we're supposed to get for Ahsoka, man, and it seems like uh, you know a lot of people spend a lot of money on one book and then it drops down to like ten bucks and then another book goes wild. Um, right now, I guess it's the Mace Windu, right? Mace w Windu number four. Yep. Um, right. What's up? How's it going, Phil? Phil's in the house, man. Um, but let's let's talk about this, man. And I I broke it down. I looked. I went into the books myself. I did all the homework. I didn't use an app. You know what I'm saying? I I looked myself. So the Good first job. book that I the first book I found, man, was uh, Miles High Comics exclusive. This is art. This is art by Mike Diodato, and it was published in May 2017. And this is just her first cover in Marvel, yeah. right? So in Marvel, in continuity, she's not in the book. She's just in the cover, right? In Star Wars 30. Um, and it's crazy, man, because, you know, back in these days, I hated her, man. Like, Snips, since she said, piss me off, man. But um, <laughs> now I love her, you know? I mean, can I, Can we all say, I mean, can we all agree, man, Snips was annoying in the beginning of Clone Wars, you know, until she became Ahsoka that we know now. Um, and, yeah, then I, uh, and then I... I talked we talked about these a lot. I know um, me, Alonzo, um, I know Sith talks about these ones. And I, I count these in as kind of like the Marvel IDW thing because uh, Marvel actually gave IDW permission to do the kid books, right? right. And that's what Kevin Scott did. He did all, he did all the Star Wars adventures. Um, and these books were actually published in January 2018. And you can find these in the kids section. I mean, no, everybody, it's just, and this used to be kind of an underground thing. But everybody knows about it now. But try finding this one right here, this one in ten. This this thing right here is a ghost. I've never found it. Right? It's a yeah. ghost, bro. If, if I didn't find it yet, if JR didn't find it, I know Rob's been looking. I know Sif is looking. And and we we always we look hard, man. Pause. But um <laughs> yeah, these are hard ones to find, man. So these were published in January 2018. And then you got this one, right? This is the big book right now. How much is this book going for now, man? Like 200 bucks. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Something like that, right? Like, I would run into these books all the time, um, and I just would. I just. I have. I only have one copy, man. I wish I would have grabbed every freaking Mace Windu, Windu number five that I that I would uh you know ran across, man. And this I, here's actually the uh, the panel where Ahsoka um, um, actually shows up. You know, so she actually shows up in this book, um, and this one came out. On um, it was published on February 2018. So this one actually, let me see here, February 18. So January, this so this IDW came came out before this one, before right. Mason number five. And then here's another one that was driving pretty high prices in in in, in the beginning, right? Was this uh, Darth Vader number 14? Uh, that Soleil when 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 Soleil was writing, writing yeah. uh, Darth Vader. And I circled her for you guys because. I think it was me and Cape Crusader. I always mess that up. So me and Cape Crusader, he texted me on Instagram. He's like, bro, like, where, where's the soak in this book, man? I was like, let's just fucking dig together. You know, let's go look. And we were texting each other back and forth, DMing each other back and forth on Instagram for about an hour, an hour and a half. And we finally found her right there, you know? And she's in a helmet, you know? Wow. So he shows up in this book, man. That's her right there. That's my picture of, of her showing up in this book. 
you have to really look. I think it's like probably on the fourth or fifth page of this book. Um, but this actually came out did, 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 April 2018. So this came out, I think, a couple months later than Mace Windu. So Mace Windu's winning in the Marvel continuity game, right? Right. Uh, and then check this book out. Remember when this book got hot? Remember this book right here? It got super hot, man, especially this Ventress cover. Everybody was trying to track this down, man. Um, this book went up to like $300 as a raw. It was insane, you know, because I don't know who told people that this was the first, um, you know, so in continuity, but it wasn't because this one actually came out. Here we go. March 2019. I circled it for you right out of my book, you know. Um, so this one came out a year later after all of these other books, you know. So if you're paying, I mean, it's 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 you got to do your own home, your own homework or you're just going to lose money, man. You know, so um, for real. So I'm just breaking it down. So this is this is what it breaks down to be, man. Ahsoka in, 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 in continuity. So number 30 is their first cover, that Mile High exclusive. Um, I guess they drought they drove the prices up at Mile High. I heard a couple of people were getting them, were able to get them for cost or whatever they were selling it for back in 2015. And then you got the Forces of Destiny, which is January 2018. And then the Jedi. Then you got the Mace Windu book. And I didn't put it there. It's number five. That was back in February 2018. And then you got Darth Vader number four, which was January, February, March, April 2018. Um, and then you got Star Wars Age of Republic, which is um, in May of 2019. So I feel bad for people who are paying all them bucks for them Age of Republic specials, man. You know, like that yeah. sucks, right? Because people were paying through the nose for that, man. Oh yeah. Because um, they thought that you know, I mean, we're we're all none of us can afford. Uh, you know, I, I don't think any of us can afford right now. Um, uh, you know, Clone Wars, Clone Wars number one, man. Can any can any of you guys afford that shit right now, bro? That's insane, man. Not right now. So, my my LCS, he's actually he has a ton. He says because uh, this is the story wow. he told me, man. He said. You know, he used to run another comic book shop, and I don't know if uh, I don't know if Matthias told you this though, um, Nick. He said he used to run another co uh, a comic book shop out in San Marcos, and he bought like a ton of number ones of Clone Wars, and uh, the owner got pissed at him, man, because none of them would sell. So he made him buy all the Clone Wars, you know, oh, number one. So he has a whole like he said he has a whole long box or short box full of Clone Wars number one in his storage, and wow. he still he has to dig them out. And I'm gonna buy one because. You know, man, I'm I, I just got Star Wars love, but it's gonna cost me it's gonna cost me something. You know, he ain't gonna oh, sell yeah. it to me. He ain't gonna sell it to me for no hundred dollars, bro. No, you know, no, so. he's not gonna sell it to you yeah. for hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, but yeah, when he, you do, let me know. Since you got a long box, you could share. No, no, you I'll know. let you know, man. You know, I mean yeah. you, you better you better you better tell him though, because people are yeah, he already has people trying to uh, you know, um uh, already claiming. I claimed a long time ago. You know, he just you know needs some time to to get him, but uh, you know, so um I, I wish I would have grabbed. I mean, I wish I would have grabbed mine when it was. I was. It was. I was on bid for on eBay for a hundred and sixty-five dollars, uh, and I could have snagged it for like one seventy. But I was like, oh, there's a tick on it, a small little mm -hmm. tick. Yeah. I was being like Alonzo, and I was being like Nick. Like I, I'm not gonna buy this shit for one hundred seventy dollars. The small little tick on it. Oh, man, look, man. look at this now, bro. We all got left behind, man. We all got left behind, man. <laughs> so what? Behind. One thing I want to put out there that I learned from collecting Star Wars books, Star Wars or Disney in general does, they have the Star Wars books and then they have, that are put out by Del Rey books and then they have their own Disney books. And that's, IDW is, is the same way, ID, or IDW is their Disney books and then Marvel is their Star Wars books. Or mm -hmm. Del Rey books. They, the Disney books are continuity, but they're all geared towards kids, and they have no impact really on the Marvel stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people overlook that they're all connected, and that's one. That's why like people, everyone's looking at Mace Windu, going, "Hey, that's first continuity." Yeah, but it's it's not. I I know. I, I, yeah. Yeah, but I know when I brought in, but the Mace Window book is the hottest book right now. In, yes, in like uh, I would say in in finding continuity with uh, Ahsoka and Marvel. Um, and I remember right. I brought it to the show, man. I, I brought the one that I showed, and and I kind of held it up, and 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 uh, I know I know Rob was, uh, you know, he's he was banking on Age of the Republic, and he was gonna give me that like I don't know about that one. I'm like, bro, 
I looked at the dates, man. In my head, I already knew. Like, I looked at the dates, man. That one was a year after the Mace Windu yeah. one, you know? Like, so. Um, but, you know, like, we'll see, man. I, he, my thing is, like, don't buy it at a high price because someone's going to find something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, she probably popped up somewhere else. And there's not a lot of people that are reading, you know, and, and read these books back in the day. You know, so, like, just just wait, man. It's, it's, there's going to be another book, man. If I mean, if you want to buy it, if you want to get in the game, just buy a Darth Vader number four, man. That's only 20 bucks. You know, like, just get in the game with that, you know, like, and, you know, be happy, I guess, man. And buy but Darth Vader number three while you're at it, too. Yep, yep. <laughs> and then, uh, move, move, uh, I mean, Darth Vader 14. Is it Darth Vader? Now, it's not number four. It's 14. My bad. I, I wrote it wrong there. It's Darth Vader number 14. Um, but let's get into this, man. Star Wars uh, versus, man, before we uh, send everybody off to uh, the Cabin Scott, man. So I just kind of thought about this. Me and Alonzo were like, what if we just, what if we did it like a video game, man? And we put characters against characters and let's, yeah. and, and see who wins, man. Just talk about it, bro. So the first one, I mean, you guys don't like this. Who wins between this? Who wins in this match, man? Come on, Josue. Who wins? Young oh. Luke or old Luke? Oh, oh which young Luke? <laughs> which yeah. young Luke? Yeah. Are we talking about Man or no young hand. Luke or we're, we're or, talking about uh, the Luke Moisture Farmer? The Luke before <laughs> Return of the Jedi and before that Luke versus this old ass Luke in Force Awakens. Okay, so, so Mandalorian Luke. Okay, I would take Mandalorian Luke than old ass Luke. Wow. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah, I take I take what we saw last week over old ass Luke because you know what old ass Luke died like a fart in the wind. Spoilers. <laughs> that was Ryan Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, we should have went out like that. Yeah. And and Mandalorian Luke. The old Luke wouldn't even be there, dude. Like a fart in the wind. He's yeah. like a fart. Pause. Did it deserve a pause? A fart in the wind. Pause. Hey, dude, he did. He did. You saw him. he was on a rock, and it was just like. But that took a lot of force, bro. Like he was projecting, like it did take a lot of force. He projected he across the fucking. Where he fought. His fucking oh, projection. Yeah. His projection went light speed, bro, and it was light that's, speed. He, he had a lot of bandwidth. There, dude. That's that's right. Right. That's sometimes bandwidth. farts come with force power. and and have projection. And the he's still the holding Luke. the dice. That's what I'm yeah. saying, man. And he held the dice on the projection, right? On the projection. Yeah. I want to I mean, get on that. Man. I want to get on. Check the robot to see him too. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fucking flaws in that movie. Um, but anyways, the problem is old man old strength. Has the, old man strength. Yeah. Old, old, old man has strength. the power, but he's the crippling mental ability of Ryan Johnson directing him. That's and so I would take Young Luke. You yeah, you remember? Old, he, old Luke. Old Luke would cry first. Yeah. Old, like, old why Luke are you doing is, this to me? He's so scared that he tried to kill a boy while he slept. Right. I just watched mm -hmm. that scene over again, and I, that scene. Why you watch that again? Why did you watch that, bro? Like, because it came up on uh, on, on like a, a life on someone's story. On, <laughs> like, on there you go. That's not a yeah. Old Luke was yeah. Yeah. Up in yeah. You you got to go old school all day long, yo. Yeah. <laughs> now, you gotta go. respect your elders. So I'm I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna go I'm gonna go old old, old man Luke man because I think he has wisdom. Where are you going, I Jr.? See. I I can't go with Booger from the Nerds. I mean that's what <laughs> old Luke looks like to me. <laughs> I mean I think he's got the power, but I just don't think he has the balls. Give me the the clear and precise Luke from Mandalorian at the end. He has no doubt in him. He'll beat the shit out of him. All right. So one one one. We're up one one right now. How about you? How about you, Nick? I'm taking I'm taking a uh, Mandalorian Luke. I, I think oh. Mandalorian Luke force strangles old Luke. <laughs> he crushes him. <laughs> and he goes he goes. How dare you lose faith in our nephew? Crush. And he crushes oh, him. Lord. And, and he just. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, I, I never lost faith in my, my father. My father killed toddlers. Come with me. Crush. That's, that's hilarious. All right, how about you, Zoris? Who are you going with? Oh, oh, oh man, Luke all day. Because I think, oh, it's, two, I, two. think it's a, I think it's a lot of stuff that they haven't shown. And eventually, we're going to get that, man. Like, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, man, he crying a lot, he went through a lot of, a but lot they're. Of stuff. They're he fixing was, him a so He was gangster before he got to that point. We we caught him at the very end. He Everyone was, had it. He was over it. So Ryan Johnson was playing 5D chess, guys, right? He was yeah. so far ahead. He knew that 
in the year 2027, we would get <laughs> enough technology <laughs> to bring back young Luke and redemption. <laughs> All right, Steve, you, how about you, bro? Yeah, I'm, sa- I'm saying I got to go with old man Luke. Oh, uh, see, you guys. Oh, Res- respect you. for elders, Game yo. Right. Yeah, how, about, how, about, how about you, Sway? Sway, how about you, man? I mean, I want to say old man Luke, but uh, can you guys hear me? Using a wrestling logic, yeah, the old man would put over the younger talent. You know, So uh, that's the only problem is because he's old, he'd have to put over the younger guy. So uh, younger Luke. There you go, oh, man. There you go. Old man Luke three. wins. But we is just – it's three thoughts, no, four three, bro. It's four three. But hold on a second. We, you guys are are What'd not you taking Steve, young you pick, Luke's you pick record. Man? I picked old man Luke, man. Three, you know, you're not taking young Luke's record of beating old men into account. Okay, <laughs> young Luke has already just beat up two old men off of this one, right? He beat up his old dad. He beat up the old emperor. Right? How many old people does he have to beat up before you guys realize he's the old killer? And also, let me do some math here real quick. There's six of us. How is there four plus three is seven? So, <laughs> Alonzo, I think Alonzo, 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 I think Alonzo, Alonzo yeah, Alonzo okay, said it. Yeah. Is it the thing? Oh, oh, oh no, 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 man. No, no, no. no. Uh, no Sway, what was your vote again? Sam, Sam, Sam backed this up and said, oh, he, he was, it was a both. tie breaker, it was a tie. man. Oh, yeah. all right. Old man Luke has already done everything oh. that young man yeah. Luke has done. Yeah, so he already that, was, was coming. But, He's but experienced that, the finer let's, things let's in life. Yeah. Way. Let's put it this way: we all knew young Luke was a whiny bitch, but we didn't know <laughs> that he was not even close to the level of whiny bitch he was when he got to be old man Luke. <laughs> yeah, he was, man. How about yeah. this one? Padme versus Ray, man. Who wins? Ooh. Oh, <clears throat> one with the light table, one little Ray. Man. Yeah, I gotta go Ray. You like that picture? You, you have to go Ray. You have yeah. to. I yeah. mean, force powers. It's like even I don't want to, but you have to. You know? Yeah, she, yeah. she is yeah. pretty. Nice. I mean, if you took out, if you took character wise, get rid of that Mary Sue. Let's just go Padme and let's just stay there. Yeah, but there you go. You got to give her. She's got just too much power. All right. That one's easy, man. That one's easy. But how about this one? <clears throat> no. uh, Revan. Oh, Darth Revan. Maul versus Darth Revan. I'm Revan. Fucking Revan. Revan? Darth yeah. Maul got beat by an apprentice. Think but about Darth that. Maul, but yeah. Darth Maul yeah. does not know how to die, though. He does not. He's I a comeback know. king, bro. He's a comeback king. Darth Maul doesn't <laughs> have king. alkalites. He's a comeback king, man. I'm not familiar with Revan, but all I've ever seen is Darth Maul, you know, do acrobats and force push. So, um, yeah, if this other dude can do other things, yeah. I'll take that. Guy. You got to read Revan. Revan, has, yeah. Revan, Revan goes Yo. with two blades, though, bro. That's this this yeah. picture's uh, this picture's yeah. uh, it doesn't tell a whole story, man. He goes two blades too. Right. You know? Come on, where's the Kathleen Kennedy versus Favreau one? No, I no, that wait, fight's wait, wait. coming. <laughs> I, I want to know what. This, so, who wins this one? Go, Jay. Are you first? Who you Revan. For? Definitely Nick. Revan. <clears throat> uh, I'm going with Revan. Revan? Okay, yeah. that's two. Eric? Revan, man. Oh, damn. There you go. Yeah, Revan. Maul was an apprentice, too. Sway? Yeah. I don't like anybody that gets chopped in half, so I'll go uh, Revan. I'm going <laughs> with Revan, too, man. <laughs> undefeated, bro. Revan's undefeated. Revan wins, man. <laughs> So, oh, how about this one? Who wins this one, man? Oh, <laughs> no one no wins that shit, one. Shit, I'm, man. Going for fan, man. I'm going for Logan. No, you know who wins that one? Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> That's who wins that one. <laughs> oh, man. I Kathleen, Kathleen Kennedy is probably good at politics and set this whole shit up right here. She's probably like working both of them to go against each other, man, like so she can win. You know, you know, you know how they do? Like she's like, Silently, like in one ear and silently in the other, man, trying to like uh, win the battle within, man. So, that old what do you guys do? <laughs> I'm gonna take Filoni, man. Filoni. I don't know, man. I, I, I like, I like Favreau, bro. Favreau's a big motherfucker, bro. And he, he's kind of, he's kind of uh, yoked, man. He's kind of yoked. Uh, he's got some meat he, on him, bro. Favreau. Meat on yeah. him, man. But I feel it like it is a, a Mandalorian versus an X Wing pilot, if you think about it. It is. I, I, no, man. But I, I think Filoni's just so creative. That he'll just create a, a answer to anything that uh, Favreau. <laughs> I mean, Favreau, Favreau's really flashy, 
you know, and he's got the he's got the ability to put a lot of th- good things together. I think Filoni though, like, uh, he just might just create something randomly. You know, he's just a little bit of a savant. Yeah, you know, we always hear Filoni talk about Star Wars, but we never hear Favreau. Man, I want to hear Favreau just like do an hour long interview. I know he did an interview like lately, like last on what ABC or some shit. Yeah, Yeah. Good Morning America. But I want to hear, I want to hear him talk like Filoni, like Star Wars, man. Like Filoni would just, Filoni would just break it down. But I seen, I went to Star Wars Celebration over here in Anaheim, man, and Filoni was just like just breaking down a knowledge where people were just quiet, just listening. You know, like he quieted the room because. He wasn't boring. People were just like, "Oh shit, I never thought about that before." You know, yeah. like, you know, like, I want to hear Favreau at a Star Wars celebration do that. I mean, do you think? Do you think knowledge wise, Favreau can beat Filoni, or is it like? No, Filoni's you know, the chosen one. Filoni has he brings, he brings balance to the universe. Yes. Yep, man. You know, we would be awesome, man, if we were. I I know I knew it, man. I knew it back in the day, like he was going to be big and. Um, I saw him walking around in the crowd, man. I should have took a picture with him, man. But you know, oh well, yeah. man. But uh, who? Okay, let's go. Jr. Who wins this one? Filoni. All right, Nick. Filoni. All right, Eric. Uh, Mr. Uh, Filoni Lucas. All right, uh, Steve. Steve. We lost him. <laughs> Steve oh. froze. Okay. How about how about you, uh, Josue? I like fat guys, so I'll go Favreau. I'm going Favreau too, man. I'm going, I'm, I'm for the fat guys too, bro. I'm, I'm for the fat meaty guys, man. But I guess he wants. Is it? I, I think I think Steve would have went with uh, with uh, Favreau too, on, man. man. Filoni. All right, man. Big one. Lucas versus Kennedy, man. Oh come on, man. Come on, let's go. I'm about to walk off this fucking podcast. <laughs> come on, let's go. What kind of question? Is this? <laughs> want, George Lucas. Want, would stick a truck so far up her ass, you wouldn't know what the hell she's uh, doing. I'm I mean, not going to say anything look- negative no, no. about anybody. I'm just going to say I like the original movies. Lucas. Eric. Lucas? George, George Lucas, man. He, he's the originator. It's the Godfather. Kiss the ring. How about you, Sway? Yeah, Lucas. Man, I, I don't know, man. I think I would say oh, wait, I would, my wife's here. Uh, it's Kennedy. Kennedy. My Kennedy. Wife's here. All right, there you go. You, you, you <laughs> I would I would go Kennedy because I know Kennedy is <laughs> is sneaky as hell, bro, and she would do anything to win. She would do anything to win. Anything. <laughs> well, she's anything. about to lose. Anything. Pause. 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 Anything. I don't want her to yeah. do anything other than to leave. You know. So just go away. You don't mess around with chicks like that, bro. Like, you know, you see a chick like Kennedy coming at you, bro. You just go the other way. You just say, oh, I'm just going to go the other way. That's I, I think I think George would just be like, I'm, I'm just going to go the other way. You know, I mess huh. with that. I mess with that chick. Man. That's a chick you don't mess with, man. All right. I got another one for you guys. Filoni versus uh, Filoni versus the fans. Kennedy, <laughs> Who's gonna win that the fans oh, Kennedy. Kennedy versus the fans. Who's going to win that one? I mean, she keeps calling us toxic. We'll keep she's winning. She's been winning, bro. She's been winning. She's been winning until the Mandalorian. You know, she's been winning. I, I say she's a she's a Sith. <laughs> I think <laughs> you a Sith, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, Sith, we won't. Man. We won't claim her as a th- Sith. That was hilarious. How, how do you keep surviving after all the shit she done? Because she is Sith. You she's know, like, she, oh, she's, no. she's Palpatine, bro. She's she's the she's the female Palpatine, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's Ray, you... Ray Palpatine. That was her story. She's Snoke. She's Let winning. Her be on her, her own creation. Who wins, man? Who wins? The fans or do? Because I know what the fans want, right? Like us, all of us right here want yeah. Ron Filoni take over that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she's still there. Like, who's gonna win? Are we gonna win, or is Kennedy gonna win, man? I mean, there, yeah, man. I, th- I I think you're uh, the customer. That's what I'm talking about, Sam. Right. Yep. Yeah. Kennedy is still here. She's winning. She's still winning. She's she's, sick, I, I, I think she's still there because she's she is now starting to brew some stuff that people want. Those movies still made money, even though we. She's not of, bringing what people want. She's not right. But she's putting the right people in power. Yeah, is what she's, she's doing. She's she still, is building her own grave. 
she's doing what the producers do, man. They just take the credit, man. You know, like she's she's putting Favreau and Filoni in their place, and Favreau and Filoni are kind of like uh, they're actually doing running everything, but she's on the top, you know, um, kind of taking some of that credit too, man. I don't, I, I don't think she, I don't think she deserves. I think she got. I think. I, I don't know, man, because uh, when she said they didn't have that one comment, they said, well, we don't really really have anything to go on for new movies. And Filoni stepped in and like, what the fuck are you talking about? We got cartoons. We got comics. We got books. You know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't know what she's going on. Yeah, and that comment really killed, like, us people that read the novels and stuff. Yeah. Because they actually – Lucasfilm, one of the things that people don't realize before Disney bought them, they had a very – well curated and taking care of continuity division. Like they made it sure everything you make a comment in this book, it jives with every damn book that came prior to it. Mm -hmm. And they, they had people that knew everything that was going on. And so, I mean, and she took stuff from there. There's Ray and, and what's his face, Ben are, Jason and Jaina Solo. Mm -hmm. I mean, she took stuff from. She just doesn't want to give the money up. Can we leave it like this? It's gonna. Be, it's yet to be seen. It's yet to be seen, man. She's gonna be gone think, in two years. And I think. I think uh, Filoni and Favreau are slowly taking over, man. They're, they're slowly taking over. But My how about this? One? She'll be gone. How about this one, Nick? What do you think? Who is gonna win this one, Nick? <laughs> oh man i i think i think uh i think that one is uh it's already over it's already <laughs> over <laughs> i'm going with the big guy i'm going uh, with the big guy i i, I know who i'm rooting for i already know but i, I know who's got the, the house in beverly hills so <laughs> we know who won yeah <laughs> good for you jr yeah yeah good for you jr <laughs> but what if what if Jr. What, what if he takes over like one of the films? He's like, you do you want to play it? Do you want to play a role in this and let me win? What would you say? Would you would, would you rather? Would you want to be no. in the canon in the Star I Wars would, universe? I would stop watching Star Wars rather than do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to be like uh, Colbert and like you know be in Lord of the Rings. I don't want to be like in sync, where they're part of the Star Wars universe technically. <laughs> Wait. I think I, <laughs> no. You never I mean, heard about that. What? <laughs> What's that? Seriously, George Lucas, his when he was making Episode One or the prequels, his daughter was a huge In Sync fan, and so he got them to come to set one day and film them in the Jedi costumes and everything as part of the movie. Now he cut it out, and it's on the editing room floor. But his daughter got to meet in sync. She was happy. He was happy. And they were happy because they could claim that they are actually in a Star Wars movie. Wow. Even though he cut them out of the movie, the final cut. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know. I think yeah, only a real rate. in sync fan would know. Yes. <laughs> you are the you are the in sync fan of them all, right, JR? I have seen them live, so you you are the only Vato that listens in sync. You know, you know, he's our, you know, he's our, our, our resident uh, Vato right here, man. This guy right here, look, you know, hey, it's a, come on, man, you could do it. Um, but I think, I think uh, Jerry goes prime or rage on Ryan Johnson, man. I think it would be over. I think it would be over in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I'd, I'd be on death row. Well, you guys, you guys agree? Everybody agree? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to um, try and get you guys over to our, our uh, premiere of our interview with Kevin Scott, but first we got a big announcement, man. Um, and I want I want Jr. to announce this one, man. Announce this, bro. So, after several people kind of getting on us about it, we are finally going to end up doing our uh, podcast, an actual podcast. So you'll be able to stream us on all the big stuff, from what I understand, Stitcher, Apple, all that stuff. Uh, this is going to be our premiere episode on there. So if you don't want to look at my ugly face while we're doing this, you can at least listen to us. That's what I was saying. <laughs> if you don't want to look at ugly asses up in here, man, yeah. you just go listen to us on there. So Because I know a lot of people with YouTube, it's hard to be able to listen to us at work and not watch it. So <laughs> we will be putting our whole backlog up there slowly but surely. Dope. 
So and right right now we're only on Spotify because we have to get permission from Apple. We have to get permission from Stitcher. They have to send us a bunch of stuff. But Spotify uh, gave us the, the go ahead right right off the bat, man. So if you guys want to check us out, if you guys are listening to little Joe Rogan on Spotify, why don't you hit a follow over here? Just find this find us Team Nerd Herd podcast. You can find us over here on Spotify. Press play, and you're all good, man. We also have our um, our we also have our show with uh, Dinesh, our interview there. So you guys can find that. It's a lot of good information, man. Um, but we're gonna I'm gonna put up we're gonna put up all our, uh, our all our interviews with all the artists and writers that we talked about and uh, some of our best what ifs that I that that uh, that that we can find, man. Um, so you guys can uh, listen to us while you walk, run, cook, whatever, man. Yeah work out, you know, or you're driving home from that long uh, holiday, you know, um, from wherever you're, you're from. And, um, you can listen to our, our lovely voices instead of watching our, um, ugly faces. So, um, you know, but, uh, I want to throw you guys over to, um, our, our, uh, our, our actual, uh, interview with, um, Kavan, Kevin, Kevin Scott is going to be, uh, starting up over at eight o'clock or seven o'clock. Um, in about 10 minutes over here on our channel, man, just stop by, check it out. Or like I said, if you don't, if you don't have time to watch it on YouTube, you can listen to it on Spotify right now. And you know what? We got the link to the Spotify right here in the description. So just hit that, hit follow, and you'll get a, you get all you, you, we'll be with you in your pocket, man, the whole time. Pause. Right. Was that a pause one? You know, so. Make sure you talk about trigger grills a lot so we can get you another free trigger grill. Trigger there you go, grills. man. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I do own I, I do own a Traeger now. I'm very I'm a very proud Traeger owner. I know everybody wants to come to my house. I know Nick's gonna want to come to my house because I'm gonna live over there by Nick in a, in a, about 20 days. And you're welcome, man. I'm gonna put that uh I'm gonna put that brisket in the in the Traeger, man. Cook it up real nice. You know, you bring go. your bring your girl. I you know you guys are all welcome, man. It's always whenever you're down here, man, and Josue. But I'm a very proud Traeger owner now. Traeger, you can sponsor us anytime you want. You know, so, <laughs> you know, hey, but uh, Azores, man, you got you got anything going on over there with Spine Ticks this weekend? Yeah, believe it or not, we're actually doing an episode this Saturday, uh, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, come check us out, SpineTicks.com, uh, our Spine Ticks YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, we're going to be there for the for the fun, man. And uh, we're going to talk some comics, show some uh, some uh, prize winnings. And some uh, some new reviews and things like that. It's gonna be fun, man. I, and I should be on Spine Ticks this Saturday too with uh, Azores and Sith, kicking it, man, until twelve in the morning, twelve a.m., man. And, it's, it's, and then talking in, in, in backstage until two in the morning, man. Like we always yeah, do. Yeah, man. You know, it's always a good. It's always a great time, man. But it, do we have any other news, guys, besides uh, all that good stuff? Um, uh, let's see. Staying up got- to midnight watching. Uh- uh, Wonder Woman tonight, guys. Uh, I'll watch Soul uh, first. Yeah, Disney hey, Soul looks better. And Nick, man, you tell us tell them about um about what we got going on our other show too. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, I think we're gonna be doing another uh, stock show. So we we have it set for uh, January 9th, right? A Saturday, January 9th. I think we're gonna stick to our six o'clock uh, uh, time frame, and we're gonna be talking about stocks. Uh, comics and digital dinero. So you're taking uh, the lead on this one, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna be uh, talking about Bitcoin and crypto, and you know, uh, some some big news and big stuff going on uh, in that world every day. So we'll have a lot of stuff to get caught up on. Look, hey, as well, I thought you guys were doing a Stockton it. show for a second. <laughs> no. Show. no, we don't want to get shot. The back of the uh... no. I don't want bad memories. So, <laughs> no, but we may even have a, a very special guest. I haven't confirmed it yet. Me and me and Nick got a really special, uh, really good guest that that talks about this a lot too, man. So that should be a fun show, you know. Um, but other than that, man, go ahead. I was gonna say we got some good guests coming after the first year too. Oh, we got a lot uh, of good we guests. Can't, we can't announce them yet, but uh, Alonzo, with the talent he's been bringing in, he's got some more talent. You guys are gonna be surprised. Yeah, that's the reason. That's the reason why we got this podcast going, man. Because we got some, we got some uh, heat coming with some guests, you know. And so. we're gonna have a return guest coming too from one of our previous interviews. Yeah, we can't so. announce. You guys are gonna like that, man. But hey, um, I want to wish everybody. I want to wish you guys right here, man. My uh, my fam right here, man. 
uh, Merry Christmas, you know, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sir. They are, man. Uh, you know, you know, I mean, this has been a, it could have been a year that was way worse, man. But we got this fucking podcast going, you yeah. know, you know, like that was awesome. I got to meet a uh, Azores and sit through, uh, through all this stuff and their fam too, man. Like, you know, like, uh, what can I say, man? Like it's, it's been a decent year considering, you know, so yeah. Yeah. You know? Charlie Brown yeah. over there. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna say Merry and I want to say Merry Christmas to the chat, man. Like and everybody on the um, oh, yeah. on the rewind, man. And I hope you guys are gonna be safe, you know, and and, and hang with the fam. Um, but hey, man, should we have Sway uh, do the do the uh, uh, send us off, man? Do you even know? Do you know sure. our, our our thing? Am I supposed to know what you're gonna do here? Can I watch this all the time? Yeah. I don't watch it that often. Should we also say that we're not gonna be on for like the next couple episodes? No, we're not going to be. Uh, this is our last, uh, our last um, show of the year. We're not coming on. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be coming on until the first week of January on Thursday, when we're going to have like a pretty awesome guest, man, for our, our mail call show. Um, but uh, y'all, y'all would know that then, man. It's, it's going to be dope, bro. It's going to be dope. It's going to be a dope year. Twenty 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 one is going to be a dope year, man. But you want to send us off there, a host way? What you get a second? Collect what you like, or what is it? <laughs> Say it in Spanish. Say it in Spanish. There you go. If you want to do it right, collect what you like. I, ¿Qué? I dare you do it. <laughs> Colecta lo que te gusta, lo que es correcto. And uh, go get your uh, COVID vaccine. Knock it how, out. How are you doing on that? So, I'll well, see you guys next year when I'm a zombie. <laughs> like, eh, I'm a little sore. How's your boto, little, bro? How's your boto? How's your boto, man? After that shot, know. bro. No, huh? But I'm drinking. It's making it better now. So not a little sore. I got that's a little when, messed up, but it's all good. And you too, bro. That's when you say. That's when you say pause. Pause. <laughs> say pause. Yeah, yeah. All right. I hope you're both okay, man. All right. I like what you like, man. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, folks. Peace. Merry Christmas, guys. Peace. Show me the one whose safety deems such destruction. This is the way.